There's not one of you here. And I challenge any one of you to outwork me, but you won't. I've sacrificed, and those of you that are here have sacrificed greatly to be here as well, to be away from your, your family. I, I learned from one of our leaders that in the midst of hearing this, this message, went out and sold their family dog, which breaks my heart as someone who's been, you know, at the head of the humanization of pets movement in other businesses that we've built. That was uh, <laughs> the CEO of Utah-based tech company uh, Clearlink. It's a it's a marketing firm, and their CEO James Clark is talking to the workers of this company, letting them know that no one there is ever going to work as hard as he does, while also praising a dedicated and loyal employee who was willing to sell the family dog in order to meet the demands by the CEO to go back to the office and work in person as opposed to remotely. Now, the reason why he wanted to force the workers to do that is because he has accused them of quiet quitting and also taken on side hustles, even though it doesn't seem like there's much evidence to to prove that point. Nonetheless, let's watch one more video from this just fantastic Zoom meeting he had with the employees and then we'll discuss. Some have already quietly quit their positions, um, but are taking a paycheck. In one month this year alone, I got data that about 30 of you didn't even open or crack open laptops. And those are all remote employees, including their manager for a whole month. Uh, This is taking place in our organization with some of our developers could be working for two different companies. We don't know. We hope that's not the case, but we don't know. Many content writers today are now exclusively using AI to write. I can do that in about 30 minutes of an eight hour workday. So what do we need to do? Let's put out 30 to 50 times our normal production. (laughs) Okay, so there's more gold in these hills. Uh, Later, he talks about how uh, working moms need to pick the kids or, or work. Oh, no, no, we got to go to that video now. You no, can't no, just no, reference no, no, it. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. It's amazing. But I, I got to comment on the first couple of videos. So first of all, I like that this guy's like John Cena or like, oh, let's go also Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's like, nobody's going to outwork me here. No way you're going to do that. Yeah, dude, you own the company. You're the CEO. Yeah, okay, I mean, you, you know, so. you own the company. Like, d- d- Jake, do CEOs not understand that? The, no, the they difference, don't. right? They don't. So they don't. if you if you own stake, like if you're a share a shareholder, if you own part of the company, you are literally you have a vested interest in the success of that company. If you're an employee, you don't own anything, usually in the United States, yeah. right? And some places do have stock options for employees, right. etc. And that's great. That's there wonderful. are a few co-ops, like small yeah. companies, yeah. But like but no, these executives generally don't understand, but they're not making the same kind of money you are. So uh, they they don't have the same ownership interest. They don't have any of that stuff. So look, I, like anyway, um, to, to rub it in people's faces is like not the right play it, it, to say the least. Now, uh, when he said um, how the, that he is among the leaders of the humanization of pets. What what is what is that? What is, yeah, that's exactly what. I mean, I'm I'm actually genuinely interested. <laughs> I mean, humanization of dogs movement. I'm uh, right there with you. It is irrational by definition, but anyways, you, okay. you wouldn't understand. Uh, yeah, I w- I'm in favor of the donkeyfication of gorillas. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay anyways, look, to be fair to us, we don't know what that movement is. We're just <laughs> okay. assuming things about it. So let's okay. just not talk about it because we're ignorant about it. I so. got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, I'm a guest. Um, so Anna, yeah, what would you do if I said, "Hey, I quit"? I- I'm not even kidding. <laughs> no, but you guys, it's not even. An, first of all, Jake would never do that. Secondly, um, I'm an adult who knows how to be a, a dog owner who provides adequate care for my pet while also working an incredibly demanding and stressful job. Like I don't know why they had to sell the family dog. You get what I'm saying? No, that is it's the weirdest thing I have ever oh, seen. The baby. <laughs> okay, if I said to Anna, hey. humanize dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> they dogs, they're not humans. Okay, anyways, uh, if I said to Anna, you, you're uh, you're not working hard enough. I need you to sell Charlie. <laughs> And to I need say you, that it would not end well is a significant understatement. And I need you to increase your output by 30 to 40%. No, 30 to 40 times more. No, no. Not percent. 
I'm done, okay? <laughs> I'll do anything for work, if not that. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna give up my dog, no yeah. way. It gets worse. It does get worse. Um, so it gets to the topic of childcare, as we all know, Child care is difficult to come by here in the United States. It's astronomically priced. A lot of women during the pandemic had to choose between going back to work or staying home to take care of their kids because they literally could not afford child care. So this is a very real issue. But you know, CEO James Clark thinks women really need to to choose. You want to deal with your kids or do you want a job? Let's watch. Child care. It is the question that was debated for hours. And hours, there were heated conversations over this. There were meaningful and even tearful, tear-filled conversations around child care. In some ways, as I'd mentioned, breadwinning mothers were hit the very hardest by this pandemic. Many of you have tried to tend your own children and doing so also manage your demanding work schedules and responsibilities. And while I know you're doing your best, some would say they've even mastered this art. But one could also argue that generally this path is neither fair to your employer nor fair to those children. Now, I don't necessarily believe that, but I do believe that only the rarest of full-time caregivers can also be a productive and full-time employee at the same time. So you do believe that. (laughs) I just, what are you you saying here? Are are, Are you saying you want to get rid of the women who have to take care of their children because yeah. you're now mandating them to go back into work. But this guy's the worst, by the way, because people ended up working there with the understanding that he was one of these flexible CEOs who was very much willing to allow people to work remotely. In fact, we have the receipts, we have the receipts. This is from October of 2022. While my hope is that anyone near the office takes advantage of this incredible space. There are no plans to require anyone to work in the new Draper office or the St. Pete office. I mean, he had on multiple occasions made it clear that he was okay with the flexible accommodations. But now suddenly he thinks the workers aren't working hard enough. They haven't opened their laptops in a month, which by the way, if that's true, then you need to hire new employees, right? Because in that case, they aren't working, they're taking advantage, They're not even working remotely. But it's really interesting that he's not taking that action. Instead, he's just throwing out all sorts of allegations, reversing course on his flexibility with remote work, and then essentially making women feel even worse about this whole situation by telling them, you can't be a full-time worker and a decent mother at the same time. So I watched this whole speech and it was amazing. Um, so uh, so I, I agree with Anna, of course, that uh, Look, are all employees angels? No, of course not. I mean, apparently, thirty of them didn't even open their laptops. So that's allegedly, a problem. allegedly, allegedly, yeah. definitely. I wouldn't trust anything this guy says. But, but if you're working from home and you didn't even open your laptop, it could be an issue. Maybe you're using this now. I don't know, right? But so I'm not like. Are there issues with working from home? Yeah, of course there are. So, so will some people abuse it? Of course, right? But what is your reaction to that? And so here he randomly takes it out on. Moms, right? By the way, one of yeah. the women he praised for like could barely handle working and taking care of her kids. He's like, but she's the one that sold her dog, and and that's got a girl, okay? Jesus. And uh, so that's he said something like uh, mutual accountability, okay? No, but actually. That means you're a poor manager. Totally. Because totally. Look, I don't micromanage anyone's life here. Um, I we just expect results, and that's that's fair, right? So you get a wage, and then you expect like me and Anna, we show up. Everybody, Bart shows up. Josh, everybody shows up, right? Because we're a team. We got to work together. We be having deadlines. Yeah, and we have to, very tight deadlines. We got to get the show on the air, etc. Right? So, but I'm not like, hey, Bart. Now give me your time sheet and I want to know what were you doing on Monday at 8:17 a.m., right? No, the brothers here doing running the audio, okay? And so everybody's got certain, you know, guidelines etc. But if 30 people didn't open their laptops and you're positive that that's an issue, why are you airing it out in front of everyone and yes. randomly attacking moms? Why don't you go deal with those people? 1000%. And by the way, the video we showed you when he's addressing the child care issue what really stood out to me is how he's like, listen, we've been we've 
address this. We, we went back and forth about it for hours. There were tears, women were crying, people were really hurt about it. And so, you know, I'm gonna fix the situation by telling you that you need to choose. Either you're a full time worker or you're a mom, you can't be both. Sorry. Yeah, oh, and on that, okay. note, on that note, he said, like, some people say, and then, well, then uh, one could argue uh, that, that, that you really can't do both at the same time. You're being really unfair to me, your employer, plus your kids. Well, don't talk about kids. Don't talk about people's kids, okay? And then, and then later in the rest of it that I watched, he's like, well, the dad, he's like, not that I necessarily believe that. And then he went on like a five minute screed about how he believes it. And he's like, well, the data shows it's definitely true. I mean, the moms are the problem. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't, I would not be able to work for that guy, <laughs> not in a million years. He went on to talk about, like, I have been unfairly criticized. And look, guys, there's, so are there some things about Gen Z's and millennials, they come in, they wanna be CEO right away, they're right away, et cetera. Are there some of those issues in the world? Yeah, there are, right? So sometimes some people will be unfairly criticized. But get a load of, so I listened, okay, because hey, I'm a CEO. He I, actually has a bias. That would favor the CEO because he's a CEO, right? Yeah. So I'm all ears, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, right? And he's like, you know, I, my Judeo Christian heritage was unfairly criticized. What? Wait, are you Jewish or Christian? What do you mean? Like, Judeo Christian heritage is like a political thing, it it's is, not yeah. what you actually believe. You believe one or the other. Anyway, and then, and I, I can't imagine that, but then he goes on to say, you know, and they brought up that I, you know, it, I was unfairly attacked for going to Harvard and Oxford, and I'm like, oh, please stop talking. Stop talking. Please stop talking. I just love how he started it with like, no one's gonna work harder than me. You're lazy. Like, really? <laughs> That's how you're gonna start it, right? Yeah, but it's, dude, why don't you deal with it if you've got some percentage of folks who are not being good team members? You should have you should have a normal process for accountability. Instead of like randomly attacking everyone at the company and basically accusing them of all being bums, especially the moms of the dog owners. And he also <laughs> accused the workers of having side hustles, although he conceded that he had no evidence of that. So like, if you have no evidence, why would you throw that accusation out there? And if it, it is the case that some of these workers have taken on two jobs, you know who doesn't take on two jobs? People who are paid well. So I don't know what's really going on with that situation. But it's funny because it seems to me that rather than serving as a leader of this company, he is just using this meeting to air his grievances and make all sorts of accusations about the employees. Yeah, and last thing is there's a culture clash going on here, right? So there's the new school that says that some small percentage of have outrageous demands at work, okay? That's my experience, you could complain about that, etc. God bless, okay? Then there's the old school who are like, no, your job is to do exactly what management says and shut up and do it and sell your dogs, right? But by the way, both are wrong and <laughs> neither one of them realize they're wrong. Now, by the way, there's tons of people that are in the middle. Most people are in the middle and they go, okay, we show up, we're a team, we work together, we do the best we can. But the old school doesn't realize you can't do a video like that, like you, and it's gonna leak and it's gonna do this, etc. Where you go out and, and like tell people that they're bums, etc. Yeah. Right? It's weird. Like, how do you not? You gotta catch up to at least realizing that it's gonna be a massive PR damage. No, I mean, I'm actually shocked that that video was leaked by some, one of his employees. I mean, you would think that after he trashes them like that, they would have enough respect. To avoid leaking that video to the press. Especially because he went to Harvard and Oxford. Especially because, yeah, definitely. And because of his Judeo Christian heritage. So, people, leave Pity City. Dude, what's up with these CEOs these days, man? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? What is going on? You guys need to stop. Just stop. Don't do it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.